Hi guys, so something I wanted to talk about today was non-target organism effects. It's something that I always think about when I'm deciding what product to use in my garden and what I may be spraying or applying to my soil. So for example, when I sprayed these plants uh, when they were in veg, I sprayed them with Mon Monterey horticultural oil. This is also known as Suff Oil X. It's an oil-based product. There's a lot of oil-based options out there and they work primarily as a suffocant, which means the insect can't develop a resistance to it, it's just it's being suffocated. Now, other products that may be applied to the soil to treat fungus gnats or some other issue like that could potentially have non-target organism effects, meaning you may be killing the fungus gnats, but you're probably also destroying other biology, especially things that are biofumigants. So keep that in mind, that could damage your nutrient cycling or perhaps make the plant or the soil more susceptible to pests and pathogens after the application. Um, that's the great thing about beneficial insects. When we apply beneficial insects, you know, pests can't develop a resistance to that. They're being eaten by the, uh, by the predatory insects. So all things you want to think about, always keep in mind non-target organism effects when you're pick, picking out, you know, some sort of application that you want to make in your garden. All right. Thanks for checking in.